Hey ice cream lovers, Steve Christensen's my name, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. I could throw out a few other designations, best-selling author, hopelesstohero.com, executive director of the National Ice Cream Retailers Association, executive director of the National Ice Cream Retailers Association, of which you should be a member of, husband to a beautiful wife, father to five glorious children and very passionate about ice cream. I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Lloyd's of Pennsylvania. I've said this before, father and son team, Barry, Andy, to tell you the truth, I can't tell the difference between them. I have a hard time figuring out who's father and who's son. You may meet them at a trade show, you tell me. But they make great ice cream mixes, custard mixes. Uh, their link is down below. Just click on it and have a look. They've got some great products, recipe formulation, they'll help you out. Lloyd's of pa.com. I want to talk in this video about how to sell more waffle cones. There has been no greater upsell in the ice cream business than selling waffle cones. And there's a couple of different things that you can do in order to sell more waffle cones. I'm going to say it again. Sell more waffle cones. You want to do it. They're very profitable. People love waffle cones. They're very visual. So here's a couple of things. The first thing you need to do is I believe have them on your menu board. This is our main menu panel. It's our kind of traditional stuff. And right along the bottom here, try not to scratch my mic, right along the bottom here, waffle cones. So when they're looking at their pricing, looking at some of these other traditional stuff, one, two, three, four, uno, due, tre, cuatro. There's four waffle cones basically blasting them in the face. They're saying, oh boy, that looks good. They're getting an idea of the price. That's their first visual, right? First panel on the menu board, have some images up there. If you don't have any photographs on your menu board, ay, 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 ay. Uh, that's another video. Number two, you've got to have them somewhere where people can see them and my suggestion is right at the point of sale. Here I am at my register, here I am saying, oh, uh, what's that sir, would you like two scoops of vanilla and one scoop of cookies and cream? Would you like that on a waffle cone? They can see it on the menu board and right in front of them here is a holder of the waffle cone. So at the point of sale, they're seeing it on the menu board and it's basically in reach. They can almost reach through and grab it. So it's important to have one of these at the point of uh, the register. If we walk down here a little bit further, we may have another register down here and at this register you've got one of these Perspex boxes. Again, that visual nature of being able to kind of have people see them as they order is extremely important. I I like these Perspex boxes because they keep the waffle cones a little bit out of the humidity, but again, you can stack them in here, they look fantastic. Again, it's that another visual uh, impulse buy that gets them. If they don't get them here, get them on the menu board, they'll get them at the second register or at uh, you know another collection point. And then as we pivot over here, you should have a waffle cone making station where you're actually making waffle cones right in front of the customer. Now you may be short on bench space and that's fine, but put all of this stuff on a cart and wheel it out, make the waffle cones in the morning, make them as you go through the day, make them just before seven o'clock so the store is wafting of beautiful vanilla waffle cone mix and then wheel that cart back away. If you do have the chance to make them in front of the customers, people love seeing what I call the theater of ice cream. They love seeing food prepared right in front of their eyes. And by the time they've walked in the door, they smell them, they see them on the menu board, they're right there in front of them. I'll guarantee you your waffle cone sales will increase, absolutely. Regardless of whether you're making your own, you can buy your own waffle cone cones and still do this process, put them on the menu board, have them dipped uh, and rolled in sprinkles or nuts or whatever, uh, and then have them on display. That's kind of next level, but if you are making your own, make sure you're doing that where they can see. It's really important for them to have that experience, not only that they're smelling and they're seeing, but they're kind of having the optics of you making fresh product right before their eyes. Again, guarantee you'll sell more waffle cones, you'll be more profitable and you'll say, boy, you know what, that's Steve. He's a bit of a goose sometimes, but he does know how to sell waffle cones. That's all we have for this 
this episode. Thank you very much to Lloyds for sponsoring this video. And if you have a suggestion, if you have a question, if you'd like to uh, leave a little comment down below, we'd love that. We love responding to your comments. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video.